The math was easy, 110 seconds divided by 55K. Cadel Evans needed two seconds a kilometre to take the yellow jersey from Alberto Contador in the final time trial. 59 seconds behind Evans, Levi Leipheimer was a bit of a forgotten man, heading for third place on the podium in Paris without ever featuring much in dispatches. But Leipheimer was out on the road complicating the simple equation we'd all worked out. Yes, Evans was gaining on Contador, but not as fast as Leipheimer was gaining on him. The leader of the Discovery team was setting best times at all the checkpoints. Well, this could all very much go down to the last 500 metres of this 55.5-kilometre individual time trial. The check there at 35 kilometres, Levi Leipheimer, 39.43. Cadell Evans, 40.19, has lost 35 seconds to the American. This is turning out to be a humdinger of a battle, I'd have to say, here this afternoon. The last man to get to that time check, though, Phil, is going to be the yellow jersey, and then we'll get an indication as to whether or not Alberto Contador is going to run out as the yellow jersey. It really, I don't know which way to pull. So, Alberto Contador now is looking at the time, uh, 35 kilometres for him. It doesn't matter, he's not thinking about winning the individual time trial here this afternoon. What he's thinking about is making sure he conserves as much time as possible to keep the yellow jersey on his shoulders. The time he's more interested in is the time of Cadell Evans, a time of 40 minutes and 19 seconds. I think he's actually improved over this section of the course as he moves up a fraction. This man is dosing his effort. He's riding his time trial on the times of Cadell Evans, which are being fed to him and with that high speed cadence that this young man has got he's actually not going to tire too much down towards the end so that is not a bad performance 41 13 he's not not yet lost a minute on Cadell Evans so Cadell Evans is still currently in second position on the road but Levi Leipheimer is closing up on both of these riders and Cadell Evans knows now that he's being closed in by Leipheimer and it could be even be at the end of the day that he'll just find he's still in second place behind a different name, if that's the way it's going to be. This young man here at 24, he's built for mountains, he's not built for pure speed, and I think his stamina at 24 in his first Tour de France, when he was sort of thrown into this yellow jersey, might be proving a little bit too much. He's still pulling out an incredible time trial in the Tour de France. At the second check, Contador sitting in fifth place at the moment. Valverde's just gone through only 13th at the third check, which is the last one before the finish. Well, as we look here at Cadell Evans on the left, Evans is second overall at 49 seconds to Alberto Contador. He's closed it down from one minute and 50 seconds. He's still looking for 49, and behind him, Leipheimer is also closing the gap. Well... This is Carlos Sastra. He was 11th there that last time check. I have to say, Paul, we've never seen live Levi ride like this. We've seen him ride brilliant time trials, but this one is very, very special. He's seeing yellow, and he's just going for that yellow jersey as best he can. Well, this is an incredible sight here. Sastra's trying to hold Levi Leipheimer in sight as he can. It's going to be a long haul up here. Valverde's heading for the finish now. It'll be another great time, better than the one he did in Albi, mind you. And he's trying just to consolidate or hold on to sixth overall. And he's got real problems from Kim Kirken. Well, there's a lot of riders were battling in this time trial here this afternoon, Phil, to keep themselves in a high place in the overall classification. Theoretically, we would be waiting for Jaime Zubeldia to come in next, and then after that, it should have been Sastra. But it's not going to be that way at all because uh, the next man to come in should be Heimar Zubeldia. But then after that, the next man to arrive will be Levi Leipheimer. Any moment now, we should get a time check at 50 kilometers covered. And that is the third time check of the day. Alberto Contador is doing the time trial of his life here this afternoon. And he is still holding on to a 40 second advantage over Cadell Evans. And I wonder if that nasty little climb at 50 kilometers to go is going to help the Spanish climber because he's using a much smaller gear than Cadell Evans on the left-hand side. Cadell now starting to get that little bit of a nod. He's using a big gear and it's very difficult to not to get tired using a massive gear like that. 
Contador whips around the corners, round that traffic circle, no problem at all, nice and fast. He's riding now like a downhill skier, keeping the pace up, not losing any momentum at all. Out of the saddle once again, he knows how important this race is going to be for him here this afternoon. Now, Levi Leipheimer has just gone through the 50-kilometre time check with a new best time, 57 minutes 14. Still waiting to see. Leipheim has gone through, yes, in 57 minutes and 14 seconds for 50 kilometres, Paul. That's about 31 and a half miles in 57 minutes. It's unbelievable oh. the ride that Levi Leipheimer is doing here this afternoon. And I'll tell you what, I've got a funny feeling that when uh, Cadell Evan gets, gets to that time check, Cadell may well have gone behind Levi Leipheimer in the overall classification. A few moments ago, they were only separated by 10 seconds in the virtual overall classification for the race of supremacy. Leipheimer now is at three kilometres to go. It's reasonably flat here, but that last 500 metres to the finish line, Phil, that is going to hurt these men. Well, at the moment, a team discovery, and we've got to wait for Evans to get there, could be taking top two places here in the Tour de France before we go to the final day. Uh, because Contador was a minute 29, but he had a little bit more in hand. He's got another minute 20 to lose to Leipheimer on what remains of this course. Leipheimer now 11 seconds at these time checks as far as we can work out. The clock will reveal all when uh, Cadell Evans gets to this 50 kilometer check. Then he will have 5.4 kilometers to race to the line. He's racing for the yellow jersey, but is the man behind him going to spoil the party? Well, at the second time check, Cadell Evans had lost 35 seconds on Levi Leipheimer. Yes, he'd pull back time on the Spaniard who was leading this race at the start of the day, but he seems to be losing time with every kilometre and every pedal stroke now, Phil, to the man who wears number 111, Levi Leipheimer. And this is a very difficult part of the course. This is on the other side of the town of Anguillem, the climb up to the time check at 50.1 kilometres. Well, at the finish, the arrival of Zubeldia here at a minute six and counting. Another good ride by a man who started the day in the top five places and should hang on to his position overall as they go up to the finish. It's been a tough day in the time trial. All of the action, of course, saved to the back. And it looks as though the back riders are going to win the time trial and the Tour de France today. He gets in in 16th place, 1650 for Zubeldia. That's a good ride for that man. He gets to slow down, back to Evans. Well, Cadell Evans now is getting out of the saddle, looking at this time check at 50.1 kilometres covered. That's just over the summit of this climb. And Levi Leipheimer is going to win the time trial, but is he going to win the tour? Here we go, Paul, the long ride to the finish now. Carpets uh, look terrific with a 1440. Leipheimer is going to burn this off the face of the map here. We're looking at an average speed of in excess of 52 kilometres an hour. This is a phenomenal performance here. He's not really worried about winning the stage. I think at this point he's thinking about possibly winning the Tour de France overall. He's going to walk away with the stage here this afternoon, Phil, and it's going to be a phenomenal performance. He's still not even getting out of that skier's tucked down position. That has been his big advantage here this afternoon, and as well the big power in his thighs. He's not even got out of the saddle yet, and he's... Well he is now. I'll tell you what, Paul, it counts bad, this, because the last five kilometres, he is eight seconds behind Cadell Evans at the last time check. That just come through. So he's got to improve that eight seconds in these last five kilometres to get ahead of Evans, so that will count. 1-2-44 for the time. 53.1 kilometres now. That's one of the fastest ever time trials in the Tour de France. All the time, Evans was concentrating on the yellow jersey the man from behind has done the ride of his life here. 103.43, he has to get to the line, otherwise he's lost out to Leipheimer. He's going to have to go a little bit harder, I think. It's an awful long way up this home straight. He is banging out the rhythm on these pedals. I don't think Cadell Evans can win the Tour de France, but at the moment he's been more concerned about hanging on to second place. 1-3-43, he's got to beat to the line. It is going to be a desperate few minutes here. It is still a way up here. 
He's still got a few seconds to get up the hill, and he can't quite make it. 1-3-43, those are the figures. We're counting to 1-3-30. Leipheimer is watching this as well, remember? He's looking at second in the Tour de France if Cadell Evans. Can I, he's got there. 1-3-35, 50 seconds behind. He had 59. He has pulled out a magical last five kilometers. But Alberto Contador has just gone through with the fifth best time at 50.1 kilometers covered. This is going to go down as the closest ever finish in the Tour de France between the top three riders all on the podium. This fight could continue tomorrow, you know. Here he comes now. Forget Vladimir Karpic, who we thought had done the ride of his life. Contador is the man who's done the ride of his life. Look at the face of the rider in yellow. Don't look at his face, look at the clock, because for Alberto Contador, Phil, he wants to see less than 1.05.25 on the clock on the gantry above the finishing line, because if he does that, he'll know that he's still in the lead in this bike race. Yes, the lead is a lot less than it was at the start this morning, but that doesn't really matter when you're looking at the Champs-Élysées. He's still trying to keep that cadence. It's a very high cadence now. He's out of the saddle. One. 443 he's looking Phil at not very many seconds to go I don't know if you could see the man in the car behind is Lance Armstrong the man who won it seven times he part owns this team it's going to be a good ride for Contador as he now sprints this man has gone through all kinds of suffering but he's done it he saved his Tour de France by about uh, 20 seconds I would think he will win the Tour tomorrow 23 seconds we reckon well, that was a phenomenal individual time trial by that man. I'm sure he was inspired by the presence of Lance Armstrong behind him. But we've seen this Tour de France get completely and utterly reduced. It was massive gaps before we came in here. 150 over Cadell Evans, 250 over Levi Leipheimer. Still, this man is going to run out as the overall leader tonight. Still over Cadell Evans and still over Levi Leipheimer. But the gaps have been reduced. And in all the pandemonium over the race for the podium, the stage result seemed almost an afterthought. Except for Levi Leipheimer, of course, getting his first ever stage win in the Tour, 51 seconds ahead of Cadell Evans, with Vladimir Karpitz and Yaroslav Popovic third and fourth, and Alberto Contador, two minutes 18 back in fifth. A great day for Discovery, three riders in the top five, clinching the team competition, the race overall, and of course the stage win. Levi was pretty happy. Yeah, it was uh, my best day, I think, my whole life. Uh, my legs were awesome, and, and the, the time splits I was getting just made me go that much faster, and, and I was able to actually enjoy it, and I couldn't help but smile to myself a few times, even though, it, you know, you're in a lot of pain, you're pushing yourself, but uh, I kept telling myself I was going to win a stage in the Tour de France, and it helped me go faster. Incredibly exciting for a stage that didn't actually change the standings. It couldn't have been closer, though. In fact, it never had been closer in the Tour. 23 seconds between Alberto Contador in first and Cadell Evans in second. Only eight more between Evans and Levi Leitheimer in third. But the margins don't matter if they're in your favour. And with Paris on the horizon, the Tour was Alberto Contador's. Hace dos años estaba en en el hospital, ¿no? Eh, temiendo por hacer una vida una vida normal a consecuencia de de un derrame cerebral. Por suerte se pudo se pudo solucionar. Me me tuvieron que operar. Esta es la consecuencia de de la operación. Pude volver a a competir, ¿no? Y que me dijeran que que dos años después iba a estar aquí, ¿no? Con todos los medios de comunicación dando una rueda de prensa de este tipo, pues es algo inimaginable para mí.